Hi, this is Joe Jarrett coming to you from Orlando, Florida. Today I want to talk to you about uh, your business. A lot of times people think it's pretty hard doing the real estate business, but is it really that hard? Are you making things out harder than what they really need to be? Remember when we were younger sometimes, we thought we'd never grasp certain things like riding a bike or learning how to swim or even that first day of school, we wanted to run back home and just put our head under the covers and <laughs> kind of forget about that day at school. But it got easier. Why did it get easier? We had an open mind, we were willing to learn, and we were willing to go out there and apply what we learned. Whether it was how to write spelling words, how to do basic math, how to do reading, whatever we did, we put our time and devoted it to learning how to do it. So, so often than not, I see people in real estate, and a lot of times uh, they think this is a lot harder, or they make it out to be harder than what it really needs to be. What I tell you is stop making it so hard. Take one thing at a time and don't worry about the results right away. The results will come once you start putting everything together. A lot of times I, I compare it to the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Do the outer frame first and then the pieces start coming together. So often than not, you might be out on the website or interacting with people, learning how to do different things and you're not sure how it all comes together. So what I would encourage you to do is put together a plan for whatever you want to do. For example, say you want to do assignments. What would you need to do? You'd need to know how to find motivated sellers. You'd need to know how to generate leads. You'd need to know how are you going to submit your offers. You would definitely need buyers. So when you break it down to its simplest thing, to generate leads, what are all the things you're going to be doing? from talking to a realtor, to putting out bandit signs, flyers, passing out business cards, the whole bit. When you look at making offers, learn from each offer you make. So often than not, people make offers and they say, I haven't gotten anything yet. I've submitted 10 offers. Well, submit 10 more, submit 50 more, submit 100 more. The more offers you make, the more deals you'll get. The other thing you wanna look at is buyers. Are you doing everything you can to find buyers? So break it out into every little piece that you have, because each little piece is going to help you get a step closer to what you're looking at trying to do. Whether you're trying to find leads, you want to make offers, you want to find buyers, you will become better at everything that you do each day by getting out there and actually doing it. Don't make things harder than what they need to be, because once you do it, you're going to realize it really wasn't that bad. I often it to going to a dentist sometimes you dread it for weeks even that day you don't even want to go in and talk to the dentist but you do and usually you come out of there and realize it wasn't as bad as you thought it was unless you got a root canal and that was bad I'll give you that okay but if you don't have a root canal and they tell you, you need to floss them or even a cavity it wasn't that bad but so often you're dreading it you're hating it it's eating at you. You're letting it live again there in your mind, rent-free. Remember we talked about that before? Don't let anything live there rent-free. Be sure to evict them out of there, okay? Get that fear. Get those bad thoughts. Get that uncertainty out of your mind. Because what I want you to really start thinking about, is it really that difficult? Or are you just making it a little bit more difficult than it really needs to be? That's something we should give a little bit of thought to. So, because if you believe it, you can achieve it. You can do it. So don't forget about that. Once you do it in your area, okay, and you do it, whatever that first deal or tenth deal might be, it's going to gain you confidence. You're going to be confident and want to do more. So don't let it hold you back. Don't let that, well, it's too hard to do, okay? If it was easy, as they say, everybody would do it. But it's not easy, but it takes a lot of persistence. If you're persistent, you will make it happen. So until next time, it's Joe Jurek saying, believe and achieve. Take care. Bye-bye.